Since being introduced as an exotic garden plant in the 19th century, Japanese knotweed has spread throughout the UK and has become such a threat to biodiversity and hard structures that it is prescribed under Section 9, Part 2 of the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1984. This film demonstrates TCM's solution to the Japanese knotweed problem at Dole Coast in Cornwall. I'm Graham Hutton, I'm the technical director of Midas Homes, part of Galliford Tribe PLC, and we're working uh, in a joint venture with English Partnerships, delivering 390 houses here in Camborne. We were looking for a partner when we um, approached Thurlow Countryside Management that could deal with the knotweed on the site in a reliable fashion, in a cost-effective fashion, and certainly um, a solution that provides certainty that we won't be coming back to deal with knotweed issues on the affordable housing that we'll be delivering in the future. We're here at a site in Camborne called Del Coth, which is seven hectares of previously undeveloped land which has been used for industrial units and mining. There are 31 mine shafts and approximately 6,500 square metres of the area was taken up with the plant, which had been sprayed repetitively with various chemicals until it was in such a condition that herbicide was never going to work again. Subsequently, the developer decided to contact us and get us involved in the project to develop a methodology that would allow the reuse of the soil on site uh, whilst removing the Japanese knotweed. I'm Alison Allen from Pell Frischman. I'm Associate Environmental Engineer working with Midas on this site, the Dolco 3 development. We're working to develop the site in a sustainable manner, which was one of the um, assignments from English Partnerships in, in bringing it together for development. Part of the solution was to come up with a sustainable option that didn't involve taking vast amounts of soil to landfill and it also reduced the amount of soil that would need to be brought back onto site. Landfill costs for removing this amount of soil would have extended to £14.5 million. We subsequently developed a methodology in order to screen the soil, to break it into three different soil fractions in order to remove the rhizome. The soil will then be used anywhere on site for reprofiling in order to bring the site up to the correct levels for development. Extensive remediation is anticipated to take nine months, of which the portion for the knotweed clearance will take about five months. In the process, we're taking this redundant piece of brownfield land, which has got a chequered past from mining history and industrial use, etc., and converting it into um, a sustainable community for the future. TCM's screening methodology has been developed using 10 years' experience on over 2,000 Japanese knotweed projects throughout the UK. Approximately 1 million tonnes of knotweed contaminated soil have been processed and reused on various sites. This has saved in excess of £110 million in costs associated with taking it as controlled waste to landfill.